right? It's running in the background. We'll go back to SharePoint, refresh. We now have an attachment. We'll click on there, bakecake.jpg, open it, image is uploaded. We have now uploaded our signature to SharePoint as an attachment to our SharePoint list. Hey everyone, this is My SharePoint Questions and I'm Andrew Hess. And today I'm gonna to go over with you how to upload a signature to a SharePoint list as an attachment. Now I think this is really neat, pretty cool. I know other people have gone over this, but I'm gonna show you how I do it. I feel like this video is gonna be really short. Let's try and make it short. I want you guys working in Power Apps, not just always following me. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. So please like, subscribe if you like my videos. I got a feeling this is gonna be a good one. Uh, so let's get into it. So this is my power up from my last video. I have two galleries, right? So I have projects and I have tasks. In SharePoint, I have two lists. So I have projects. These are my projects and I have project tasks. So I added a new column here. This is the attachment column. I did not create new. I just went to list, list settings. So let's go ahead and do that. List, list settings. I went down to my view and I added attachments. All I did was just click the check mark next to attachments and click add, all right? So we're back in Power Apps. So I'm just gonna go to one of my tasks. You know, I have a couple projects and it does populate. So I'm gonna go to bake cake, right? So bake cake, we're gonna add a signature to this when the person completes their task. So the first thing I'm gonna do actually, and this is just to help me, is I'm gonna add the ID field. So this ID field is actually the task ID. So before it was hidden, the project ID is something we added from our last video. So now we're gonna insert, make this form a little smaller. We're gonna insert an input of a pin input, right? So we're gonna ask for a signature here. All right, so. I have my pin input. Let me just show you more about this pin input before we take a step forward. Pin input is literally just an image. So I add an image uh, property here. And right now we have pin input one, right? That's the name of our pin input. If we make the image equal to pin input one dot image, and then we just write in here, you can see that it's literally just an image uh, property that is being saved for the signature, right? So now we gotta go into, okay, how do we upload an image into SharePoint as an attachment? Now I've done this before, but I feel like I've gotten much better at this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our save button. On our save button, we're gonna do a power automate. Now this is just the way I do it. I know there's many other ways to do it, but this is the way that I like to do it. I find it simple. I'm gonna click the power automate action here. And I'm gonna create a new flow. Now I have some other flows that could be available that I've created before, but I'm gonna create a new flow. All right, and this new flow, what you do is you come up to the top and you uh, type in power apps button and you search for it. At the very top, there's a Power Apps button. So our trigger is going to be clicking the button in Power Apps. And our step is going to be add an attachment. So we're gonna add an attachment to SharePoint because that's how we wanna do it. And we're gonna select our site address. So select the site address that you wanna put your signature on. Then your list name. So my list name was Project Tasks. Now, when it comes to ID, uh, this is where there's a little bit of a trick, but I'll, I'll show you. What we're going to do is we're going to say Ask in Power Apps. Now, in File Name, you notice Ask in Power Apps is missing. So if you look over here, right here, there's a little button in gray that says See More. We're going to do that Ask in Power Apps. And what we're going to do after that is I'm going to name it .jpg. Now you can do this in another spot if you want, but I'm just gonna do it right here in Power Automate. So we're gonna ask in Power Apps and we're gonna call it a JPEG. Now you can call it a PNG or whatever type of uh, file you wanna upload it as. Now file content, we're gonna click the little gray button, ask in Power Apps. Now this, there's a little bit of a trick here. 
once we have that, we're going to go to expression. And we're going to type in base64 to binary. And the reason is because that's how we're going to convert it so SharePoint can read it. So we type in base64 to binary. We have our parentheses. We'll go back to dynamic content. And in between the parentheses, we'll click on add attachment. And we'll take a look at that. And we'll take a look at that. So you can see it's just base64 and we're using the trigger body of an add attachment file content. And we're going to click OK and remove the first part. And so now our power, our power automate is done. We've finished our flow. Oh, well, we're missing one thing. Let's change the name of our flow. I'm going to call it upload signature. Okay, so upload signature. That's the name of our flow. And I'm going to hit save. Uh, we're ready to go. Let's go back to Power Apps. All right, we now have upload signature here. Let's select it. So we're adding that flow to the button click. Okay, so we have the button click up here. Now, upload signature dot run. The first thing it's asking for is the ID. Okay, so we have. I've renamed each of these, right? So title, I renamed to test, text, tax, type. Ooh, that's hard to say. Text, task, title. There we go. Uh, this one, project ID, I renamed label project ID. Regular ID, I renamed to label task ID. So back to the flow. The first thing it's looking for is the attachment ID. That's going to be label task ID. The file name is going to be text task title. And finally uh, the attachment content. This is where we're converting like this JSON formula into base binary. If you really want to learn all that feel free to go learn all that. What I'm going to do is show you how to do it real simple. And I've prepared this formula for you. All right, so we have label, task ID, text, task, title. And now this next part, oh, we forgot dot text, dot text. Now this next part is just a giant part of this equation where we're removing commas, we're removing parentheses, and we're just putting them in the right place. I will put this formula in my video in my description. If it won't let me put it there, it'll be in a comment. So we're just going to copy paste. I'm going to copy paste the whole thing. And I'm going to paste it in. All right, so we have that full formula. I'm going to hit format text. So it's all in there. And right before that, I'm going to put my uh, submit form form one. So that was at the start uh, before. This is just in case it's a new uh, line. So I have my submit form and then the signature. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and save it. So we're in Bake Cake, right? If we look at um, SharePoint, it's blank right now. We'll go back to Power Apps. I'm gonna hit the Save button with my image. I'm gonna hit Save. It's gonna run Power Automate, right? It's running in the background. We'll go back to SharePoint, refresh. We now have an attachment. We'll click on there, bakecake.jpg. Open it, image is uploaded. We have now uploaded our signature to SharePoint as an attachment to our SharePoint list. Uh, let's just do one more, just to prove it to you. Let's go back. We'll do add icing to birthday cake. Uh, you may wanna clear this out when you reset. So let's, let's do that. So let's see if we go back and on our, our pin tool here, We'll say reset. Let's see if this works. Pin input one. Let's see if this works. So we'll write something in. We'll go back. Click back in and it's blank now. So every time you go back, the signature will be blank. We're going to sign off on it. You know, sign off. We're going to hit save. It's running that Power Automate. Back to SharePoint, 
refresh, add icing to birthday cake, load it, we have our signature. Now, I did that pretty quick, but I do think that's pretty awesome. I don't know what Sun O means, I just kind of typed something in. But if you guys like the way I did this, please like and subscribe. This did come from a question that someone gave me, how to upload a signature to SharePoint. I feel like I broke this down easier than Shane Young or any of those other people did. Um, there's also some really great people called like Reza. He's also done a video on this, but I tried to break this down and make it as simple as possible. If you like what you see, you know, let me know. Let me know if these videos are helping you. I'd, I'd love to know. I'm almost to a thousand subscribers. I'm pretty happy about that, but I'm just going to keep on going and creating videos. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.